everybody and welcome to the daily scopes 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 for the 16th of january so today the sun makes a sextile to neptune and venus makes a sextile quadrant to jupiter when the sun makes a sextile to neptune it can increase our sort of like imagination our compassion our sensitivity so we may be more feeling so it can make it easier for us to express and understand our own and other people's emotions and the world around us in general it supports us in tapping into our inner wisdom and we may feel more sort of like spiritually connected with ourselves and others and we can just have beautiful moments of optimism empathy and you know compassion it can help us you know do some of our best writing if you're a writer painting if you're a painter dancer if you're a dancer you get what i'm trying to say you can do your best work with this energy today so you know especially if it's emotional sort of work because this can involve the more feeling subconscious side of our personality you know the more open vulnerable insecure and yet you know this can make us feel upset but because it's a set style you know the emotions that come up we can can just be more at ease with them and um, we can also listen to music or watch a film or something like that that sort of like transports us to you know a different sort of like round just a different sort of mood naturally rather than getting lost in our distractions and drugs and alcohol and stuff you know because Neptune's involving although it's a sex that it can still make us confused and open to deception and ungrounded and getting lost in illusions and escaping behaviors and thoughts so we have to try and be careful about this and to not avoid we want to avoid it yeah but to just find other ways to sort of soothe ourselves rather than self-destructive actions or thoughts or substances you know so this energy of the sun sets down next and just supports us in just being more gentle and open to love. Venus's sesquandra to Jupiter expands all this optimism and enthusiasm. It can help us repair our relationships, develop new relationships, making it a great time to network, build partnerships, seek financial investments, step out of your comfort zone, take calculated risks and reap the rewards of your efforts. It can, you know, help you have like a groundbreaking sort of like business or spiritual or some other idea all sorts of entrepreneur all sort of ideas can come out and if you are an entrepreneur you can use this energy to you know increase your charisma and this can help you attract potential investors but we just have to watch out for making impulsive decisions don't overlook any details carefully evaluate opportunities and ensure that they align with your long-term goals and aspirations rather than just jumping right in and remember that true abundance goes far beyond you know material things and status and stuff um, it encourages us to find the wealth and connection in meaningful relationships with other people or even if it's just with yourself prioritizing your integrity being authentic and contributing to your overall happiness and actually helping others to do so as well so sort of like sharing love and kind words whilst also protecting um, your boundaries so content creators can use this energy talk about how we can be more creative how we can deepen our connections in our relationship and deepen our personal connection with our higher self with the psychic ethereal sort of like realm safely how we can you know become more artistic and creative how we can analyze our dreams what are they telling us also talking about other methods for channeling intuitive energies like tarot also talking about you know personal growth self-love romantic love agape love <laughs> platonic 
unique love or forms of love and abundance talking about you know how we can expand our relations in our relationships if our relationships have been a bit dead and stale how we can bring life back into them how we can build more financial prosperity and self-improvement into our lives and how we can let go of toxic relationships and overcome you know our self-destructive behaviors and limited beliefs and you know just how we can set those intentions and refine our intentions and manifest our dreams so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 16th of january